So I want to talk a little bit about how Lama Dao created this course, because it's not something that he talks about. So those of you who have had teachings from him before, this isn't something that he talks about. And I think it's important because he's the, as far as I know, he's the only Lama teaching the Vajra Armor Mantra this way. This course is unique. It's something that he's created out of his experience of giving Vajra Armor Mantra teachings many times in the West. And so I want to give a little background about it, how this course was created that we're doing now. Lama Dawa first taught the Vajra Armor Mantra in the U.S. in 1999, in June 1999. And at that time, he was on an eight-month tour, and I was traveling with him. I was his attendant at that time, going all over the U.S., East Coast, West Coast. And... In the course of that tour, I saw Lama Dawa use this mantra many times. People who would come to him for different health issues. I would watch how he would sort of mutter this mantra under his breath, and then he would, almost like he was spitting on a person. It's like, I don't know what he's doing. I saw this several times, and I also saw this with animals. We were staying with this one woman in Reno, Gail Robinson. She had this old dog who had this infection in his mouth. And I saw Lama Dao, again, he was muttering something under his breath, and then, like he's blowing and spitting at the dog's mouth. You know, it's, so I was curious. I was like, what are you doing? You know, I've never seen anything like this before. And, and so after a couple months of that, and after I was asked him several times, and he would tell me, that's the Vajra Armor Mantra, Dorje Gurdjieff Mantra. Then he agreed to teach this in June of... 1999 in Berkeley to a small group of us. And at that time, he gave the verbal transmission and a very short translation of the root text, about a half a day or an evening teaching. And he did this three times in 1999. And then there was more and more interest in it. So when he came back and toured again in 2000, he taught it more, different, different places. He taught it all over the place. Simple evening talk verbal transmission of the mantra, basic instructions from Dorje Lingua, and then the instruction, go off and do a three-day silent retreat with this mantra. So between 1999 and 2005, many of us tried to do this three-day retreat, including myself. I tried to do this at least two times. I have a clear memory of doing it twice. Maybe I tried another time. Juanita tried to do this. Those of you who know Juanita, Charlie from Sacramento, four or five times. Many students, many students from California tried to do the three-day retreat. And at that time, Lama Dawa was saying, no talking. You have to do three-day silent retreat, which means absolutely no talking, not even talking in your dream. If you say one thing accidentally, talk in your dream, the retreat's over. You blew it. It's finished. So many of us tried. I always talk in my dream. <laughs> I could not do it. I could not do the three-day retreat without talking in my dream. Many other, uh, other students tried, and they would, they would call him and say, I finished my Vajrama retreat, and he would always look in the mirror <laughs> to find out, was there any benefit? Did they talk? And was there any benefit? And the mirror, because he used mirror divinations to determine whether you know, somebody has really done the practice or accomplished the mantra, and he wasn't finding any results, people doing the retreat on their own like that. So it was in 2005 that he decided to hold the first group retreat, three-day retreat, this was in New York, and that he would be the Vajra master, and he put some things in place. He, one of the things he put in place was this system of confession and amendment. So if you did accidentally talk, you would go confess that to the teacher, and the teacher would give you something to do so you could purify it on the spot. Then you could continue doing the retreat. Okay, so, so we put in place this system of confession and amendment. He, he drew a strict boundary retreat, three levels of boundaries. Um, he added an empowerment. And, and then he also started to do the tests at the end. Okay, so he created this way so that people could get the maximum benefit from this mantra. So what he's created and what we're doing now 
this course that we're doing now that he's created, comes from six years of teaching this continuously and having students who have good retreat background and who knew what they were doing with retreat, but yet not really getting their results. Not the results that he wanted to see. So out of that, he started to develop this way to do the retreats together as a group with the teacher, a way that you could purify those breaks in Samaya every time you say something by accident. That's like a break in Samaya. And then according to Dorje Lingba's Nyenyek, according to the guidebook, there's all these ways to give tests at the end of the retreat to find out how a person is progressing in the practice. And then not only that, but the way that Dorje Lingba talks about the mantra purifying according to the elements, the step-by-step -step way that we purify the five elements of our being, he created this course which is now four levels. Okay, so we are now on the first level that's purifying water, the water element. The second level is purifying fire. The third level is purifying earth. And then the last level, which is a seven-day dark retreat, purifies air and space. Okay, so he took this course and sort of mapped out this progressive way that we could move through it that would maximize our ability to get success of this mantra so that we could truly benefit from this mantra. As far as I know, Lama Dao is the only Lama who's doing it this way. I, I haven't heard, I, you know. Many Lamas are teaching Vajra Armour Mantra, but they're doing it the way Lama Dawa was doing it before. Verbal transmission of the mantra, some brief instruction, now go off and do a three-day retreat. Okay, so, and that's, you know, that's, that's the way it's commonly taught. So, so this course is unique, it's just so you, so you know that, so you have a sort of frame of reference and you can sort of keep this in context. And it's also a progressive series of purifying the elements, from the gross elements to the most subtle elements. So this is now 10 years, 11 years we've been doing these retreats. The first couple times we did these group three-day retreats, he tried different terma teachings. We didn't always do Dorje Lingbas. Sometimes we did things from Dujum Lingba, the Northern Treasure. So he was trying different things, doing all this research. 2005, 2006. I think it was in 2007 that we did the first retreat with this format, going through the elements this way. So it's almost 10 years that we've been doing it like this. So the retreat, this format that he's created, includes an empowerment in an addition to the verbal transmission. In the root text, there is not an empowerment to the Vajra Armour Mantra. Lama Dao is adding a pilong. It's a special kind of empowerment that empowers you to the pecha, to the text. So you have authority to do anything that's in this text. Okay, so he's added this empowerment. The traditional boundary to retreat. The system of tests that are done at the ends of retreats. Samaya requirements between the retreats. And then in addition to that, we're consecrating water. In the water retreats, level one, we consecrate water. In the fire retreats, level two, we consecrate salt. And in the earth retreats, we consecrate little pellets made from special kinds of clay. And all those are used for healing, and we learn how to use those substances. The Vajra Armour Mantra Healing Course has many, many ways of consecrating different substances for different things. Okay, we learn more about that in level two. But in this, we're consecrating water.